Hi, I'm Jay French at jfrenchstudios.com. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a gun. Now, of course, there are many types and calibers of guns, so what we're going to concentrate on is a semi-auto pistol. Now, I'm not going to use a straight edge, but if you're going to detail this thing, or if you want it to be more precise, I would, use, I would suggest using a straight edge. Now, your basic components are you have your cylinder on the top, your slider, this is the whole entire top, but it will have a section. If we're doing a perspective here, we're doing it slightly fo facing forward, just a bit, mostly from the side. You're going to have, let me make that wide enough, the shell ejector spot right there. And when you're detailing this, this will actually sink lower. You want to make sure you show that is sunken. You want these lines here because those are actually grips when you pull back the cylinder or the uh, slider to cock the gun. Here you have what you can see of the hammer. This is a gun that's not cocked. Other part of it there. And you have a sight, which is usually kind of shaped like a tiny little narrow chair. <laughs> from that view. Okay, so we're seeing we're doing this slightly from the front. The barrel sticks out just ever so slightly, unless it's empty and then it sticks out a lot. And it's of course just a tube. Very sloppy example there. But it's only going to stick out a very tiny amount. And the underside comes in. It's not as far out as the slider on top. And then there is a portion here that goes lower as well. Now you have your thumb rest or a top of the hand right there. Remember that in all guns the handle is angled. And most semi-autos, you have this particular shape. But the bottom of the handle will be parallel with the slider and chamber. I've made it a little too wide here. So, about there. Now your handle will come up. And for art, you just need to show the simple version of this, depending on how detailed you're getting. Almost always a screw right there, and at the top. Now here you have some, a lot of complicated mechanisms, but we're going to do just a quick overview. Trigger guard tends to stick out at the bottom like that. Sometimes it is more curved on the inside and back at the end, but it is always straight on the top. Trigger itself, which should be squeezed, not pulled. And then right where your thumb can reach it is your safety. And those are the most important elements to remember to get. This will also often curve out like that. And that's how you start with drawing a semi-auto pistol.